All right, today I'll show you just how to make a typical standard dubstep lead. I mean, nothing too special or hard, but you know, you could use this to get you on your way to um, getting yourself a nice idea for a for a lead. So you can you can stay in your saw if you want. Multiple voices is the key. And then the detune a little bit. Turn on the phase all the way. The random just a little bit. Then you come down into your voicing here. You click mono, legato, always, and bring this knob up. Not on this side. That brings like a you know like a pitch bend kind of thing. So just before the halfway. See, um, then you can come into the effects, a little bit of hyper, turn down the mix, turn up the mix a little bit on the dimension. Chorus. But turn down the mix. And the rate. Compressor. Multiband, threshold down a little bit. I like to use the uh, Serum Reverb, it sounds nice. So click that, turn the mix down, turn the low cut all, not all the way up, but you turn it up before halfway, turn the size down a little bit. A nice little reverb there. Now, to thicken it, turn on OSB. Turn the volume down a little bit to about maybe 65%. Same thing, a few voices, not as much this time. And what you could do is, you know, on oscillator B, turn the, oct the octave up by one, turn this one down by one. I'll leave this at zero. Or turn it down. You got that little layer that's just um, one octave below. My favorite though is analog, basic shapes, and the square. It's my absolute favorite lead. I love it. I mean, a filter, don't really use one. You could get a format for a Daft Punk type of uh, lead. You could even go phase. This usually stays off. Um, if you've got different wavetables, you can get a bit um, experimental. What I like to do sometimes, I found this random pack on the internet called Classic Simps, and I just go through these. See what I mean? Just to get different sounds. But, um, yeah, that's one way you could do it in Serum anyway. So, I hope you learned something.